Believe it or not, that was a single back in uh, 68. It's called Dogs, where they're talking about the, the Greyhound races where they would chase a fictionary rabbit. I used to go sometimes. Walthamstow was a big dog track. <clears throat> the Flaming Groovies, a track called Dog Meat. We had David Bowie, Diamond Dogs. The Kills, Heart of the Dog. Guns and Roses, Hair of the Dog. Stooges, I Wanna Be Your Dog. Adam and the Ants, Dog Eat Dog. It's a Valentine theme, honey. Just noticed that. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. Liz Carey. Oh, welcome back. Back in the house. Mm-hmm. When was the last time we were at Christmas, wasn't it? Christmas. And this is Valentine's? Sadly, yes. You, you, was, on, you was on before that, though, weren't you? Was yeah, that... I, I feel like we do the holidays together. Was there another time, though? Yeah. Uh, what was the first time? <sighs> Halloween? You was, you was on for yeah. another time, right? Yeah, I don't remember what month. You called me up and said, can I come on your show? And I said, I don't okay. I know if that's accurate. Come on, just be real, man. I feel like you said, why don't you come on the box? And I was like, I'd love to. And you didn't even know what it was. I listen to it every day. All I do is drive around I, in my I car. Know. I All I, I do. I watch your silly Instagram And then he stuff. sends me notes going, don't you get tired of making these ridiculous videos? I said, no. Mm -mm. Is, she, is she loud enough? Am I? Speak into the mic. Hello. I said, get closer. I do feel a little, I feel like I'm up above. There well, we go. That's because I'm sitting in a different seat. Oh. Yeah, you look well. Because my back is hurting a little bit. A muscle relaxer? My, my, like mas massage. Do you do massages? I don't. For Valentine's? No. Just front? <laughs> Just front. Just a front. <laughs> <laughs> just a front massage? Yeah. Just the front of your shoulders? Just a small little area. <laughs> Can you imagine if you went in and you were like, just the, just the front? Yeah, just let's, the front. Let's, let's quit messing about. Just yeah, quit. should we go after this and see if we can get a frontal? I ain't going nowhere. Some stinky place. There's a, I go to a good place. There's a chain that's good. I don't know if I'm allowed to say it. No, don't. I like it when I'm at home in bed and I get a massage yes. and I just fall a kip. I don't want to get in the car and drive I have after a, a massage. No, that's crazy. I have a lady that comes to my house and I've already prepaid her and tipped her. So, so you don't no, even have to. I don't want any chitter chatter. Is she cute? <laughs> <laughs> Because yeah. I don't want no chitter chatter either. Does she do front? She, she doesn't do front. However, <laughs> I haven't asked her to. She might. You still didn't answer me. Is she cute? I think she's beautiful. That doesn't sound too convincing. <laughs> I don't know. I need. I need to. I need three examples of what you think are cute. You think she's listening? Doubt it. <laughs> she, she might be. She's rubbing away. Who's she, your top three of cute? I don't know. One cute. Give me one cute. Uh. What, you mean someone who's known? Mm-hmm. Like a celebrity. I mean, you can't just say Karen. <laughs> like a celebrity, so you get yeah. an idea. Yeah, I'm trying to think of who I think is cute. God, so many. Jennifer Lopez. Oh, yeah. I like thick. <laughs> thick. You mean thick girth, not... Not, 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 not thick dumb. in the waist. Right, thick in the booty. Skinny waist, thick thighs, calves... Not ass. a lot to ask for. Thick thighs are ass. Right. Thick calves. calves. Interesting. Yeah, long tongues. A long tongue? Yeah. Fat tongue. Very specific. Have you ever You asked me. I'm telling you. No, I like it. It reminds me of that... Um, why can't I think of his name? Crank Yankers. Tracy. Did you ever hear that where he places a personal ad? It's really funny. And he says all these things that he He likes. says the most bizarre things. And then at the end, he says, and a C-section scar. <laughs> Oof. It's just, it's really very specific. It's funny. You had a kid, didn't you? I did. did yeah. You, do you have a scar? I do. I'm so tiny. I'm tempted to show all of you, but that's awkward. <laughs> what is the scar for? But for birds who can't stand the pain? No, my they have, kids. They have kids with big heads. I lived in Point Doom. 
You know how far that is. I drove in labor to Cedar, screaming, get out of my way. Really? Yeah. By yourself? Yeah. By yourself? By myself. So why did that still... Why did he have to have a C-section? Yeah. He was... Who's er- he? My kid. Well, he ain't. He won't give him. He birth. wasn't part of the the decision. He didn't know what was nobody, going on. Nobody. Uh, nobody asked him. Um, um, he came a couple weeks early. This is fun. Uh, Everybody wants to hear it's this Valentine's. story. Valentine's. Come on. Um, he came a couple weeks early, and he came feet first. You can't uh, do it. That, feet that's first. odd, right? Uh, they they want him to flip, so I was resting, <clears throat> and they wanted to send some girl over to do acupuncture to get him to turn over, and I was like, maybe this. Maybe he's fine. Just so seems... did they have to turn him around? Oh, so they turned him around once they... No, he started coming on out feet first. So he still can't... came out Yeah, you first. can't do that. Is he all right? I mean, I guess. He's yeah. <laughs> 11 now, so... And he seems normal? He seems normal. He was sitting on his balls. Are you allowed to say that? He had a serious... He was sitting like Buddha oh, in man. there. And he's got really long legs, so we had to... What'd you call him? Waylon. Mm. Waylon? Yeah. I bet he was wailing when he came out with his feet first. Yeah, I should bring him on here. He'd love you guys. Yeah. What have you been up to since I, just, I saw you at Christmas? You know what? I had some news, and I just asked them if I could tell you, and they were like, no. Oh, you getting a gig? I, I sold something. I can just say that. A, a show. You didn't sell my uh, goose down comfort. No, but I drove past that store the other day, and I was going to... The one uh, Eva... What's it called? On Brighton Way. Yeah, it's not far. I realize that Robertson's not East that far. Alarm. Yeah. Did you figure that out yet? I've still got it. <laughs> you I've just, still got it. You're digging yourself in deeper now. Are it, you sleeping with it? No. I've it's got... I've just got, in the closet? It's just in one of them containers, you know, airtight containers. If people didn't know what we were talking about, they would think we're talking about like a dead body that well, you... Tell were. them then. Tell them. <laughs> you bought a goose down... Not cheap. What do you call it? Uh, Comfort. Comforter. And you're wildly allergic. And you didn't think this through and you spent $10,000 on it. But you know what's weird? When I went up to Northern California Mm? on my vacation, I'm in the bed and I've always stayed at this place and I'm like, I'm going to look at the comforter. And sure enough, it's goose comforter and I'm not allergic. Maybe it's different. Air up there. I don't know. Cleaner. I don't know. So maybe I should try it one more time before I Try it. (coughs) Go and get an allergy test. Have you ever had one? I had allergies yesterday. Did you? I think after the... But have you had the thing where they poke all down your back? Do you think that's accurate or is it all hocus pocus? I think it's accurate. So what what are you allergic to? Nothing. Nothing. You're lucky. Yeah, I can eat it all. What What about ragweed? Bring it. Or grass or... But roll in it. Pine. All of it. Pine needles. Yep. <laughs> Not just everything. I can handle all the things. Take it all. Bring me all your lactose. <laughs> <laughs> so you can't talk about your gig. Okay. Well, next it, but time. Hang on, no. What's it, our next holiday of depression? Um, hmm. Holiday. Well, we oh, got- St. Patrick's Day. I could come back. Okay. And we should we should be rolling by then. But you might be working by then, being a big movie star. I don't. Let's. I think it's we're taking that a little far. But <laughs> you'd like that, though, right? I would like this project to to go, you know, further than this room. Do you need me to hypnotize whatever this person is to make you get the gig? You think? No, we got the gig. I think they just don't oh, want so me don't chatting about it what right it now. Is. Okay. No one's listening. Anyway. Nobody gives a. See how I'm out of that? Very good. Yeah. I needed to say it, but I just... We're going to play some music. I mean, okay. We're going to play Generation X, Kiss Me Deadly. Thank you. This is yours. This is my request. This This is the first time I've been allowed to play a song, I think. Okay. We're here with Liz Carey, Jonesy's Jukebox. Uh Uh-oh, he doesn't have... Liz Carey? Nobody told me about this. What? He has it. I have it in my iPhone. We can just play it on there. Oh, we got it. Everyone's staring at it and they're forgetting what they're doing. <laughs> Take it away. That was the Kinks. <laughs> Waterloo Sunset. Beautiful. Thank you for playing some of You liked that one, didn't you, Liz? I did. Liz Carey. Hello. 
famous. <laughs> Sorry, I just sprayed your mic. Superstar. Yeah, good. And we had the Pretenders, Message of Love. That was another one you picked. Mm -hmm. The Faces, Glad and Sorry. That's possibly my favorite song. You picked that one too. Mm -hmm. What album's it on? Why do you have to do Ooh, this? La, la, oh, yeah. One. All right. Yeah. Well, the one song everybody knows. No one knows that one. Yes, they do. Everybody knows that song. The only song they know is Stay With Me. No. In America. Most people, yeah. I don't know. I don't know album names, Steve. Okay. Then we had The Knack. Good Girls Don't. Another pick mm -hmm. from you. Do you want to do Lizzie's jukebox? I'll just have a couple of weeks off. Oh, yeah. I could do that. Yeah. Liz Carey's jukebox. What's the pay like? It's not that good. <laughs> well, can't, can't be worse than for being you. A, for you, it won't be any good. Can't be worse than you're a comedian. nobody. Yes, you got, I know. You got to start from the bottom. Oh, fine. In All radio, right. I'll fill in for you for a week. Generation X, kiss me deadly. Another one of yours. So you actually picked all of them. One, you're two, three, four, five, six. How about that? I snuck those right in when you weren't looking. Are you uh, you doing anything for Valentine's? You got a date? Was you on The Bachelor? No, but... You uh, watch it a lot. I watch it with... Uh, I see that you watch it a lot because you post every two seconds something <laughs> on Instagram. My friend who is... A, do you know David Spade? Do you like Yeah, him? I know David. We do uh, a hangout on Monday night and we watch it together. At his house? At his house. Yeah. Crap house. Is it? <laughs> it's really nice, actually. Where is it? Roughly. Roughly? His exact address. <laughs> <laughs> you know um, what? You can find out addresses yeah, these days. Yeah, it's fine. Beverly Hills. So just, you know. just say his address and don't matter. I, I'll, I'll no, 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 no. Um, no, it's just nice. In Beverly Hills? You know when you go to somebody's house and you come back to your own house and you're like, oh, Jesus, Get all what am resentful, I even all doing with my life? <laughs> um, he and I are going to go to dinner with some girlfriends. Tonight? Yeah. But what? What, you you was gonna say something else. Oh, you, you go I to was, his house on a. Oh yeah, we watch The Bachelor. Bachelor, that's And it. we do post stuff every two minutes. Does it bug you or does it make you laugh? No, I mean I don't even look at half your stuff. I know, Steve, <laughs> but I think it's funny and I enjoy it. <laughs> you have a lot of followers. How many do you have? A couple of hundred. Inc including my mom. Yeah. Like twelve, something like that. Thirteen. No, yeah, you have a, you have a couple of hundred, right? Yeah, something like that. They're mostly just dudes. Well, of course they're dudes. You know, I mean, you what don't you, you don't get this these size boobs, which is a preteen size, <laughs> and not have, you know, dudes. I'm kidding. Obviously, it's mostly ladies that like cat jokes. Yeah. I got a new cat. Yeah. Yeah. What happened to the other one? Um. Did he run away? It got eaten by a coyote. Honestly. I see. Yeah. You for for real. For real. That's so bizarre that we're talking about that. And yeah. that's what happened. Because you can't let... I live in Laurel Canyon. Okay, tell you me can't. the scenario. You was at home. Mm -hmm. How did you know he got eaten by coyotes? Did he sneak sneak out? Was he an outdoor, an he, indoor cat? He was an indoor rescue cat. Indoor, outdoor, but he was feral. So he had to be outside a lot. He, he was only. <laughs> Is that what you mean? No, I, he just never lived inside. So he couldn't hang out in the house very much. He would get crazy and climb the walls. Anyway, uh, uh. I pulled in and I knew he got eaten because I saw him like part of him. Oh, it's so sad. Like uh. getting carried out and there was just a bunch get, of Getting them. carried out? Yeah. Who was carrying him out? Like a pack. Oh, you saw the yes. dogs? Yes. Take, taking off of him? And you hear them all uh. the time. I don't know no, where I you know. guys live. I, but I, yeah, you I must hear it. them. Yeah. What does that mean when they're doing the noise? They've it con conquered... I think so. It means they're eating like a skunk or a cat or something else. But right? no, they, when they're eating, the noise is going on. Oh, yeah. They're not eating. All, the noise goes and it, all of a sudden it goes so silent. I imagine I that's when they're jumping Is that down. like a party howl? Like a post? Like a, a victory. I feel like it might be. The coyotes in my neighborhood give zero. Oh, I know. They're like, hey, are you cooking something later? Because we would love to join you. Oh, I know. They're bold. You know what, though? It is their spot. It's their it spot, It is their spot. Man. My, ours come out in the morning, just chilling. And we have a skunk that's like, hey, lady. It's overrun. It's gross. Kinda. Possums. Do you ever get them? We get possums. Uh, they're, like, they're like rats on steroids. Yeah, I don't love possums. Their eyes... 
They're probably uh, like rats. They've probably got uh, diseases, right? What yeah. What do call it? Uh, they get AIDS, and I'm not I'm not making a joke. I know you would start laughing, but they, my cat got feline AIDS. It's a very serious problem. Feline AIDS? Mm-hmm. The, feline AIDS? Feline AIDS. How do they catch that? Fades is what it's called. Oh, that's bizarre. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, they catch it, uh, I guess, from partying. I don't know. <laughs> Shooting up. <laughs> my my vet goes, it's really easy <laughs> to live with a cat with feline AIDS. And I'm thinking, lady, I can barely afford my groceries. She gives me this whole yeah. story about, anyway, I could, it, he lives on a special farm. Okay. Yeah. <sighs> we'll get a visit to Duke. What you got, Shovel? This portion of Jonesy's Jukebox brought to you by L.A. Car Guy. And Jeremy Spencer of Laguna Beach heard today's 5K Band of the Day, Guns N' Roses, and scored tickets to Ozzy Osbourne at the Hollywood Bowl October 11th and is now in the running for the $5,000. The next chance to qualify is at 4. And coming up later in the show, we'll have tickets for celebrating David Bowie. We're going to visit the Duke when we come back. More enticing stories from Liz Carey. I have a doozy. Ask and you shall receive. Bob Welch. That's a funny old name. I'd, I would change my name if it was Welch. Really? They make great jelly. It sounds like squelch. It's not a cool name, Welch. I go straight to grape jelly with that. So I'm happy. There's, there's a company. Welch's. Grape juice. Jams. Mm. That was called Sentimental Lady. That was for you. Thank you. Then we had the Rolling Stones, Stray Cat, 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 cat <laughs> Feral Cat Blues, mm-hmm. dedicated to your cat. To my cat that died, feral, thank you. The Jim, Jim Willie Feral. Mm. Who was the comedian, Feral? Will Feral? Will Feral. Yeah. Well, um, now, we are talking about when we were playing them songs. Mm-hmm. Hip foods, things that go in and out of fashion. Like a year ago, the ghee was the ghee. big. Everyone was drinking. Everybody ghee. was raging ghee. with ghee. And all ghee is 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 the top of the the yeah the, the thing of 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 milk. Like oh, the is cream. that what it is? I thought it was the top of butter. Yeah. Right. But it's the it it starts off with right. milk, and all you do is you just put some in a in a frying pan and add salt, and that's ghee. You do that. Half the price, as opposed to buying one of them things for a hundred bucks. Right, I just use spray Pam, so. Yeah, <laughs> but anyway, that went off the boil, right? Ghee. That's ghee is not trending. I feel. Now, bone broth. The broth thing is the big new thing. Yeah. Another swindle. Um, now, did you eat the broth? I eat the broth. What one did you get? There's a company that no, I. No, just... what dog cat. Uh, uh, cat, mostly cat. <laughs> do, do you, because uh, they, they have a bison one, which is when I was eating the meat. I thought you can't have that. I, I can't, but when I did, the bison one was good. You get that ear one. Well, if you want to talk about really dumb, they have a, a vegan bone broth. Like, it's, all right, aren't what, we getting a what's little What's the weird? bone from a carrot? <laughs> I guess. Carrot bones. Yeah, carrot bones. It's like the spine of a kale. I don't know. Yeah. Um, so that that's hip now, the the, the broth. Everybody's thing. brothing. Yeah. Yeah. That won't be long. And you can buy it in like a juice thing. Oh, it's, you in, know? it's in all forms. You can wear bro- bone broth dresses now. Yeah. It's like twenty nine ninety nine. Knickers in bone broth. I've turned into my mom. I'm shouting prices. It's twenty nine ninety nine. Do you take things into supermarkets? cut out things to get money off? No, but I will run around saying, how much is, they don't tell you anymore how much stuff is. What, no, people don't ask. I, I ask, I need to know. You on a budget? I'm on a strict budget. Tight budget. Yeah, single moms don't have, we don't spend $34 uh, on water over there. I'm gonna take that water though home, looks good for me. The shark is, it <laughs> yeah. is good, it's very good. Yeah. High HP, it's a, Alkaline. That's the other thing that's but cool. But this is this is the thing that people don't know about alkaline water. What? Is you shouldn't have it too much. This is a 9.6. You shouldn't uh, have this all the time. Why? Because it ends up hurting your liver. Oh. You should only do this now and again. But the perfect water is Mountain Valley Spring Water. We discussed this. You told me this. I would be the person that ends up dying from drinking too much alkaline water. Yeah. For sure. So, you got any contracts coming up? Um, nice segue. I don't have any contracts coming up 
funny that you ask about yeah, contracts. Yeah. Funnily enough, um, I was sitting around with my girlfriend, actually, and a text comes through. I'm not with her. A text comes. A text comes through on my phone, and she goes, "Well." I said, how's the date going? And she's, she goes, really weird. I just was handed a sex contract. And I wrote back something like, you are kidding me. Or whatever. I can't remember whatever it was. And um, she said, yeah, super awkward. And even more so when I ticked yes to the anal box. Mm -hmm. um, this is what's happening right now. This is, this is real, right? It's real. Or is this part of your show? It's not part of my show. Okay, go on. So people are now very worried and rightfully so because everyone everyone's in trouble right um and they're doing it at schools colleges for real yes it's on the news and who yep. writes up these contracts you can a lawyer you can download them off your phone now oh and they want well they want college kids to do it but i just was sort of taken aback that i was like Wow, I mean, it, it's very specific what you will and won't do. I just think that sort of takes away the the romance, maybe. Is there romance anymore, though? I mean, I feel like you and I are both kind of jaded. <laughs> I'm definitely jaded. But say you're we're on a date and it's going well. I, I don't go on dates. All right, but imagine I'm on I've a date. I've got nothing to talk to anyone Just imagine about. in a weird fantasy land where I'm on a date. Okay. And this guy... Well, you, you, I think you like dates. I love dates. But he slides over some paperwork. Yeah. No, I don't want to do that. But does, does this contract go both ways? Well, what if you come out of a contract too and say, well, here's my contract? I mean, what if the whole date is just a series of shuffling papers back and forth? And then my friend was like, I'm so turned off now, but I've signed the contract. I'm wondering if I'm obligated to now have sex with this guy. Mm. <laughs> so I'm just staying home, if that's what... The takeaway of the story was, I'm staying home tonight. Well, I don't think that's got to everybody yet. This is like, you know, Hollywood. No, it's on the news, Steve. What, you mean people in the Midwest? Yeah. Like, like Farmers.com are coming out with contracts. <laughs> Probably. Why are you so discriminatory against farmers? I'm not. I'm just stating a point that somewhere where I ain't Hollywood. <laughs> I'm on a, a farming dating website right now. Farmers only. You are on there? Mm -hmm. I like the tune. Yeah. It's good. You don't have to be lonely. <laughs> Farmersonly.com. Mm -hmm. yeah, Bring your contract. <laughs> <laughs> and Christian Mingle. Ah. Yeah. They have a great jingle. Do on they that have one. a. I don't know that, yeah. that theme, theme song. Yeah. It's just leave, leave room for the. Holy Spirit. Yeah. Yeah. I bought a Wonder Bible a couple of weeks Did ago. Did you? Yeah. Just to brush up? I saw it advertised on TV. What's a... I'm, I'm not familiar it's with it. It's a little thing. I did a video, but I'm going to do a couple more. It's a little thing that right. they advertise on TV. Uh -huh. And it's the Bible, but you listen to it. You press different right. buttons for different chapters. Are you... I did one. And I, and I couldn't... Instagram wouldn't let me post it. Why? Because I was swearing a lot in the video. Wait, I swear all the time in you my do? videos, yeah. There must be something wrong with that Pacific one then. Yeah, that it, sounds it's funny. weird. Have you noticed on Instagram, by the way, I don't know what's going on with my friends because I'm getting so many advertisements. I know, that's a lot. I know. They're, it's, they're, they're all the same. You it's know, crazy. You know what, though? You can't complain, man. It's free. Yeah. Don't compl complain I if love it's to free. Complain. You know, everyone used to complain about Facebook. It's free. All right. Stop moaning about it if you don't like a change that they do. Well, I do want to order that sauna that's going around right now. Have you looked at it? I don't know. What, on Facebook? It's on the Instagram ad. It's an ad. It's like a little, like a ball sauna. I'm going to get it. Yeah. Yeah. Have we got a knock it on the ad? Yes, we do. Oh, well, we're just going to keep talking about stuff. <laughs> well. We have to do this. Uh, okay, do it. Giveaway. Do you want to read it? Mm. You okay. can do it. So we have a pair of tickets for celebrating David Bowie at the Wiltern Theater, February 28th, for caller number 20 right now at 800-955-KLOS, featuring Mike Garson, Earl Slick, and that's furnished by Live Nation. All right. Thanks for coming in, Lizzie, baby. Thanks for having me. See you on St. Patty's Day. <laughs> and uh, go easy on the bone. Yeah. Broth. <laughs>
<laughs> no boning over here. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back tomorrow at 12 bells. Have a good rest of your Valentine's Day. I won't be dating or talking to anybody. Oh, God. But that's just me. Everyone else have a great time. Thank you.